Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to your weekly COT review. Today we're going to be looking at the 52nd Commitments of Traders Report of 2020. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. Here we go. You can see that we've got the Canadian dollar on top of our list with a huge 23% change in commercials positions. An even greater change in large speculators, 35% change. You can see that over there. Uh, if you compare that to the last 52 weeks time horizon, you may see that this change size is amongst the largest changes, the, let's say the first two or three uh, that we had. It is of course a bearish change signal suggesting some weakness uh, coming in the near future. Um, it, is, it is large, it's pretty, pretty large. It's not something that we see uh, too often. So it's a, a significant signal, I should say. Jumping to the five years chart, you can see that with this sudden move, traders are actually getting closer to bearish extreme levels. It can easily grow to even greater levels. Uh, you may see some examples I'm showing to you right now from the past. So we're not at those levels yet, but we're getting closer uh, gradually week by week. So it is a bearish uh, signal from the report, not only in the near term, but in the medium to long term as well. The next market is another currency. It's a pair the euro british pound currency pair futures uh, here we have a 14 percent change in commercials positions you can see that this change is uh, although larger than average but nothing uh, as uh, huge as uh, we saw in the canadian dollar uh, once again we are talking about a bearish cot chain signal suggesting some weakness coming in this market of course uh, when we are talking about a currency pair uh, i always advise to analyze also also the euro and the british pound uh, uh, markets uh, from the COT reports perspective uh, separately uh, and also this market. Jumping to the five years chart, you can see that here we are, uh, I should say, a little bit more closer to bullish extreme levels um, and uh, nothing unusual really. It's just the, uh, the slightly larger uh, change size in commercials positions that I should, uh, you know, point out that was interesting in this market the extreme is not really giving us too much of a clue the next market we're going to open is the silver market where we have a 12 percent change uh, in commercials positions you can see that change size over there being a bit larger than average but nothing expect exceptionally large it is suggesting some weakness coming in this market in the near term uh, and opening a five years chart you can see the that we are actually getting uh, once again, closer to bearish extreme levels. Uh, we are not at those levels like the one in February, which was actually a, a beautiful signal uh, just before we had that drop in the market. Uh, and of course, as that happened, uh, suddenly traders shifted their positions. And uh, well, I wouldn't say a huge bullish extreme that we saw afterwards, but a slightly larger extreme uh, towards the bullish side of the market. Um, we experienced that roughly in May, I should say. So uh, this does not mean that we should see a sudden decline in this market. Uh, these extremes could go on and on and on for many, many weeks or even months and years even. So that's something you should keep in mind. Nevertheless, both of our major signals are somewhat bearish in this market. Moving on to large speculator COT extreme. Uh, let's open the dollar index with a 509 report extreme in large speculators positions there's an even greater extreme in uh, commercial 682 report extreme so that's over there it is a of, of course an unquestionable uh, bullish cot extreme a uh, very very large coming after a steep decline in this market uh, this is suggesting we should see uh, a shift in this trend we should see higher prices in the uh in the dollar um meaning a strengthening of the dollar against other major currencies. The Mexican peso is the next market, 129 report extreme over there in large speculators. You can see that extreme on the chart over there. Uh, it is something similar to that extreme uh, from uh, December of 2018. Uh, that was a good signal for the market to go higher. We had a, a little bit larger extreme in June of the same year, 2018. So these are examples showing you some bullish extreme signals. Uh, I should uh, draw your attention to the fact that actually we were in this territory for quite some time already. 
and you may see that uh, the market since April has risen uh, and nothing really changed. So this in itself suggests that the trend that we see in the Mexican peso uh, could continue. Uh, we may see higher prices coming in the next couple of weeks and months ahead of us. And last but not least, let's open the cotton market where we have 118 report extreme and large speculators. You can see the extreme uh, on the charts over there. Uh, also commercials at their extremes and uh, well, small speculators as well. Uh, this is of course a bearish extreme, uh, but we've been you know having that larger extreme for quite some time. It's, it's building up uh, as the market is headed higher. Uh, it's of course hard to tell where exactly will the bubble burst uh, that's not something that, that's not something you should expect the CO2 report to to do for you. What it really does is just you know measures the stress in the uh, the mountain, I should say, like a volcano. So it's you know it's building up, it's building up, and eventually the volcano will erupt. It's just you you can never really tell when it's going to happen. But here's an example from uh, June of 2018, a wonderful extreme uh, signal in the cotton market bearish of course because uh, that's what we're looking at here uh, you can see at that top now of course when you're at that level it's hard to tell if that's going to be the top but you can start you know positioning your, yourself uh, on that side so um, that's something you should keep in mind when you uh, use these signals now of course this was all for this uh, short review but i always say that there's a lot to do here at cot base if you'd like to look at other markets you can do so uh, I only show you a few market categories. You can always look at the newest COT report types uh, like the disaggregated, the TIF, the CIT. Uh, we also have uh, the futures and options data type, uh, the options only data type. Uh, and of course, you can analyze all sorts of very, very useful data sets uh, if you would like to. So that's all for this review. Uh, I appreciate your attention. I wish you had a Merry Christmas and I also wish you Happy New Year. Uh, see you next year. Take care. Goodbye.